When you look at some of you know the investors, I mean, they say, look, at least the UK has uh, you know fiscal authority. It has much more independence because of the Bank of England. I know we could go through a lot of pain, but how do you find a, a weakness or how do you find bottom for sterling? How do you know when it's time, if at all, to come back into guilt? So first and foremost, it's important to stress this is not 1976. This is not a situation in which the UK is going to go cup in hand to the IMF for emergency loans. This is not a situation where you get a massive balance of payments crisis and a massive um, uh, sterling crisis. But it is a difficult economic situation. When do you go back in? If you're looking at the long end of sterling, you go back in when it's very clear that the growth effect is going to overwhelm the inflation effect. And that's going to happen, unfortunately. If you're looking at the short end, you've got to make a judgment on the Bank of England. I think the Bank of England will hike and will have to hike aggressively. Um, you know, I, I favored and I still favor an intra-meeting move, but I understand why they, they're cautious and want to wait till November 3rd. So, so how aggressive do you think they need to be, Mohammed? At the same time, I think, you know, the Bank of England is starting QT on Monday. That's a pretty spicy mix. Yes, it is, and it's all over the world. And let's not forget the Fed in particular, which is a, a price maker for many, many, many economies around the world. And they are late, and they are falling into the second part of a big policy mistake that will go down in the history books. Um, the, the Bank of England is going to have to be more aggressive than it would have a week ago. I think a week ago, most people thought the next one would be 50, 75. The next one would have to be at least 100 basis points.